The intercostal nerve block can be performed for blocking out a rib after a rib fracture from, say, an animal that's been hit by a car, for a thoracotomy, or for placement of a chest tube. The intercostal nerve block can be performed with a simple set of supplies, a simple needle, syringe, some marcaine or bupivacaine, or lidocaine as the local anesthetic. We're going to then palpate the landmarks in the site, we feel the dorsal spinous processes um, of the dog's spine, feel the lumbar musculature, and we want to push through the musculature to the caudal aspect and the most dorsal aspect of each of the ribs. Once we've found that location, we're going to take the syringe with our drug and insert it right over the rib or just the caudal aspect of the rib and insert down just deep enough to where we can feel the rib or the caudal aspect. We then want to aspirate to make sure we don't get back any blood or air and then inject in this dog about a half of a cc of drug. Then we'll take the needle out and if we're blocking for a thoracotomy or for rib fracture, we want to block a couple of nerves on each side, so we'll do the same thing. We'll palpate, again, the dorsal processes, feel for the next rib caudal, the most proximal caudal aspect. Again, insert our needle to the rib. Again, aspirate and then inject. The primary complications of this procedure could be an infection introduced or potentially creation of a pneumothorax with the needle being passed too far into the chest.